Bike thefts continue to be an issue. One lawmaker says a dedicated database for them is seemingly going unused. She's hoping to change that after seeing footage of an apparent dump site for bicycles. Bryce Moore reports. Representative Lisa Martin passed a law in 2022 that requires Honolulu police to maintain an online stolen bike database to help bicycle owners get them back. But after I sent her video of an apparent dump site underneath a bridge in town... That's pretty shocking. The problem with this database is nobody knows about it. So it's not being used. And uh, if it doesn't get used, it won't work. You know, that database could be used for that too, just to reunite those bikes with their owners. But with all those parts, the Bicycling League says it has all the indicators of a chop shop. We've seen this with mopeds. We've seen this with bikes stolen off bike racks and then brought to a place like this and mix and matched and made them, you know, spray painted and, and looked uh, different than when they were stolen. Honolulu police have not responded to me today about the number of bike thefts so far this year. Statistics from 2021 showed 817 reports. I'm also waiting to hear back to find out whether officers sweep under bridges for stolen bikes and how operation of their database is going. It actually just becomes a waste of our taxpayer dollars because somebody at HPD is, you know, is maintaining this database. But she and the Bicycling League still encourage the public to use the site if they experience theft. So go ahead, report it stolen with the serial number. It will go onto this database. And if somebody finds it and stashed in somewhere like under that bridge, they will then have a way to get it back to you. The law currently requires resellers such as pawn shops or even bike shops if they're buying to check that database before selling it. And it's also a useful tool for the public too if you're buying a bike off of Facebook or Craigslist or something. Just run that VIN number, run that, that uh, registration number through there. Nearby residents told me off camera that this site has been a trouble spot for years. And the Macaulay Mo'ili'ili neighborhood board chair says he'll be raising the issue to HPD at their board meeting next week. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.